Okay, so I just got here. No Master Evil, but he sent that proxy thing he's talking about to, like, watch us, observe us, whatever, and judge our fates. Is that, I'm guessing that's who you are? Oh. He seems cheery, don't you think, Alex? Uh, I guess. Who is, who is he? I'm not understanding uh, what a proxy is, to be honest with you. I, I'm guessing it stands for Pissed Off Leprechaun. I don't know. I'm, uh, I'd be pissed too if I had to hang out with us. Uh, if we're going to be honest about it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, is the rodeo clown part of this? You going to jump in? No, not gonna. He scares me. Okay. So, just open the vault, Alex. Uh, marsupials, the howling. I guess it's like pouches or something. It's terrifying. I don't know what the hell's going on. I don't know who this guy is. I don't know why we have to watch this movie that I haven't even seen the first or second one to. But yeah, open the vault. Britannica encyclopedias there. I thought it was Bukaki pictures. <laughs> the Babadook. Ah, the marsupials! No, the pouches! No! Wait, TVPG? Pure garbage? Is that what that stands for? What? Wait, what is that name? Emojin? Imagin? Imagin? Kyalos? It's kind of off-putting knowing that we have a, a proxy here watching this and listening to us. Yep, it's, I'm here. No more off-putting than the movie Casting we're about to watch. Yes. Casting by forecast. Yeah, that. Yeah, there you go. Wow. I couldn't get Ross Minor for the movie. Oh, it's not just makeup effects, guys. It's special makeup effects. Robert Frankel. Bet you, once you pop, you can't stop. Ask Alex. That's why they keep making sequels to this. Yeah, this is the marsupials. The next one is the uh, amphibians. Oh, somebody's making money somewhere. I heard it's Ching. They're laughing because they couldn't get a full werewolf costume. They're laughing because they couldn't get a camera for the movie. What what do they got tied up there, uh, Alex? That's the that's the guy. That's the producer of the film, actually. Is it the producer or his uh, teddy bear? 
proxy? I, I, I don't get it. Oh, we're done. Yeah, fuck it. Okay. Where's the paycheck? Wait, what was that rope in the front tied to? Wait, what is happening? <laughs> door, uh, what, what do you call it when you ring the doorbell and run away? Ding dong yeah. ditch. There you go. Ding dong ditch, marsupial style. This guy looks like a young version of the grandpa on Three Ninjas. His pixels look like the old grandpa on there as well. When you don't oh. have any money, like on Nightmare 4 with Rick, you just look hey, in the camera and you scream at nothing. Another KGB in a set meeting Wolfman. It has to be. It's like when they killed Some Robert England and Hatchet off screen. Unless they yeah. This is the National the Intelligence Agency. I'm sorry, but by looking at the scene, I'm highly doubting that. Special Army team are tracking monster. Well. Oh, he's wearing glasses and shaking his head. Wait, why is why is okay? Why is there a waiter talking to a scientist? <laughs> why are they talking about werewolves? <laughs> like this guy right here looks like the waiter talking to a scientist. Yeah, like, are you sure you want the steak, or the chicken, or the salmon? Actually, don't get the salmon. It's it's like been out for at least eight hours. No, actually, they he would want to get the salmon then because they got they need to push the salmon because it's about to go bad. <laughs> So I'm here today auctioning off these old ass TVs. The striking thing about it is Oh shit, he's breaking the fourth wall. In the ritual. What's the class he's teaching here? Compared to the tribe's other masks. We don't know He looks like the micro machine guy from when we were kids in the eighties. <laughs> yeah, he's like he's like, watch closely, see if you can understand everything I say here. This class doesn't inspire confidence in the teacher, honestly. Not many people wanted to take the class. Must not be an easy A. It's really, what the fuck is it? Oh, God, he's making them watch the same shitty movie we are. Oh, my God, fire this man now. This is the uh, extra footage from the the ring tape. Oh, God, this, it's cursed. this is the most cursed thing I've ever seen in my life, yes. And he's, like, getting off on it there, like, mm -hmm. watch closely. See that rope in the front? You'll never guess what that's tied to. <laughs> it's just like again. Okay, let's let's just go. Let's oh, grab go. the teddy bear. You left it on his head. Thank you. There'll be no class tomorrow. Everybody's like, I have okay, to let's. Uh, you know, I've always wanted to meet you, Beck. Is that it? That's the class. That was the whole class. About the shroud of Turan. There's gonna be a quiz on this weird movie I just <laughs> showed you on Monday. I hope you just know. At the moment, I believe. All Have you seen a waiter? Wandering around, I had some science things I wanted to discuss with him. Yeah, have you seen that waiter? I didn't get to order lunch yet. I was busy showing the students my odd VHS collection again. That also made the viewers at home watch. Why are they pointing off to the side as if that's who they should be talking to? Is that where the cue card is? Alex, come on. Come on now, Alex. Come on, Alex. <laughs> Werewolves. Why is everybody like to Werewolves. look at the camera and talk as if we're just a card. But a living species. <laughs> Where? Oh, God I want to know if they've got the a short thing. person holding the cue card or so, somebody like yeah, kneeling yeah, down because they both keep I looking over there at the cue card. He's like, are y'all still watching this, this shit? Some kind of stupid joke. No, sir. Oh, double checking to make sure there's still an audience for this, whatever they're doing. Yeah, love it. Now, is this guy wearing pajamas or is this like a no? That's a that's like a robe because he's at his pool, right? This is. Whoa! I thought they were in the hospital or something. What happened? Were we by the pool the whole time? Yeah, I didn't realize that either. And it looks like a hotel pool. It looks like this is filmed like at a Ramada or something. And if they're standing next to a pool, what what have they been looking down into the left at this whole time? Uh, there there was be no. <laughs> There was a guy holding the cue cards on like a like a floating uh, pool toy, <laughs> or he's in scuba gear underneath. This. Here's your line. <laughs> floating on by with the cue card. That guy just put his arm back like he's picking a wedgie mid scene. Are as crazy as your grandfather ever was. You are going to end up like him. Steak tartare. And the Oscar goes to butt picky man by the pool. Just turn that thing off, please. Turn this shit off. Well, there's no cameraman there. Meat. They showed it. There was no cameraman there. 
Well, it's great to be home. It's good to see you, at last. I've got to get some hard evidence. Oh, hi, Mark. There might be any. It's got to be. There's been sightings in Tommy Russia. Tommy Wiseau could teach them yeah, some acting lessons on this one. And a lot of All he needs is football. <laughs> Well, their body language is, that, is very open towards each other. These guys are like strongly attracted to one another, I think. Like they're very open stands, gl glaring into each other's eyes longingly on the skyscraper rooftop. Did everybody get that nice still image there to let us know we're in Australia, even though the boat wasn't moving? Hey, Alex, think they're a couple that go up there to throw a waiter off the top of the building once a year? No, because the, that waiter is extremely important to this film and oh, the progression it. of the storyline. I can't kill him in eight minutes in. No, he hurt me last This is time. supposed to be Australia. I they just went in somebody's backyard. You must show him your respect. I hate him. I hate all <laughs> yeah, of you. It's the, an old couple. Y'all got oh. ten more minutes. Wrap it up. Leave me alone. Man, she really took that slap. She like took it like, a, like Hulk Hogan. She must have slapped the shit out of her because that young girl slapped her in a previous match, so she was getting a receipt. Oh no, are we gonna get that same scene again? Mysterious evil family member? I'll buy a sunny wolf with your behavior and who picked this? Did you pick it or Master you Evil? Because this is bad. Oh, hey. Shit, I, I, I only said get your filthy hands off me. I meant to say hands and lips. Get it together, Bridget, next time. Get your dirty hands and lips Don't off of me. Of me Damn this is, this is pre me too, obviously. Help. You should not run away from home. I don't go. like home. Why, Why child? child? Well, because my stepfather tried to I'm trying my best well. to do a better British accent. Listen to it. Extend my profile. It's, it's just not it's nice to see that Wormser from Revenge of the Nerds finally became a priest. This house needs to be cleansed. And tell you, tell me if this makes any sense. What she says right here, just listen. Hello, wee baby. Hello, sweetie. Cold. You lost your shoes. I never had any. Leave her alone. She's only a kid. No, that doesn't make any sense. Listen, if you want to have a bit of fun, it right here. Stereo. Compact disc. <laughs> what the fuck? Compact disc. <laughs> No, it's just gonna take place. Oh! oh, she said Rowl. Um, where's the camera? Where'd it go? How pissed off would she have been if it was just an AM band? Oh god, like those little alarm clocks? Shit. Everybody just needs to look at the camera. It's like a, a full movie of uh, ugly faces looking at us. Oh, hey guys. Blu ray player? 4K? Laser disc, bitch. Oh, she's got to be extra hot. He put his glasses down for emphasis. He gets ran over by a semi truck just crossing the road. Here. Splat. Okay, first of all, you can't park on the left. I mean, can you park on the left side of the road in Australia? Because you damn sure can't do it in the States. Come back here. I know that you're a marsupial. So he was just driving around looking for women. And yeah. Minnie. And chase him. He's trolling. This is, this is like the Ted Bundy autobiography. Somebody stop that marsupial! How does he know to run from him? Is he like a known sexual predator in the area? He's the only one driving a 55 Chevy around town. <laughs> So all this woman knows is she was sitting in the park. Some dude stopped his car and started chasing don't touch her. Me. Look, I don't want to hurt you. I want to offer oh, you a job. Oh, don't touch me or don't. my lips or my yeah. skin. Uh, Got it this I'm time. I'm an assistant director on a film. Well, it's a horror movie called Shapeshifters, part eight. We need wow, that a girl like, like shit. you. You're perfect. You're, you're beautiful. No, part and six was it kind of went to a lull. Yeah. But Al Alex will agree with me. Part it seven was funny, like a renaissance for the series. We, we, so. I haven't seen part seven yet. Uh, Master hey, Evil only only made us watch Shapeshifters part one through six on the pre-season one, pre-season zero. <laughs> oh, and we had to watch the prequel to the Shapeshifter series, the Shift Shapers. What's yours? Jaboa Jaboa. Of course. Hey, does it ever snow on the How much will Chiboa Chiboa cost me? <laughs> no, why? 
Just wondering. You gotta believe me. I'm absolutely the director of this film. I have this shirt on that I drew with a fucking magic marker. <laughs> Get hey, she little kid, be annoying, but like really, 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 really bad, cliche kid annoying. Action. Uh, they really come off as of real nuns. Okay, so yep. is everybody loose in here or what? Josh, where's David Arquette, man? I thought that was ready to rumble a scene when they're in the van. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. Running with the devil. Oh god, it's a marsupial. Ah. Isn't that guy one of the X-Men? Is that face? Oh, Sabretooth, yeah. This is Jaboa, sir. Do you really want to be an Wait, is that Jaboa or Jaboa Jaboa? Good. I like a woman with brains. It's Mario Mario. Danny DeVito directing his first feature film. Can you act like an animal? And he looks good. Yes. They're like, we want the guy who's directing this film who just chased this girl up the stairs to look as much like 1987 big Tom Hanks as possible. And and we need this the director to look like a love child of Danny DeVito and Ron Jeremy. Find him. You think that you think that guy's right here, Josh, is still alive? I'm gonna I'm gonna venture on the side of caution and say no. Oh, yeah, he is. He's on Always Sunny in Philadelphia, right? Oh, he was in Game of Thrones. He's the pitcher of health, bud. That's so funny. <laughs> they don't look like that. That's what actually not his makeup. Nothing. He's getting a Wait. human human makeup put on. What the? Is, so this is what Teen Wolf and Michael J. Fox were doing in between Secret of My Success and Back to the Future. There. Haven't you ever seen a horror movie before? They're great. They didn't have movies in the town I come from. No, what is a horror movie? Flow. Are you kidding me? Never heard of it. Yeah, what's a movie? Look, tonight I'll take you to a movie. Does that say fart? Oh, part. Okay, my bad. Part eight. Part eight didn't make any sense. How oh, are you feeling, yes. big boy? Can I do anything for you? Uh, this, ah! this definitely uh, screams space and here. You? Uh, uh, you know the, you know that egg that that's your brain on drugs? I ate it. Uh, no. Josh, that guy just finished his grimace shake. Oh, he's good to go. Ba 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 ba. Wait a minute, are they dating now? Oh, you do know the rules, right? He chased her through a pump so she was his, right? They're like a couple now. It's a marsupial! What are we watching, Alex? I think it's time to cancel the show. What do you think? I wanted the show canceled for three seasons ago. <laughs> well, this guy's gonna judge our fate. Beg him. We'll talk about it after the movie. Oh, look at this! Look at this other guy's arm. That could no way be mine. Oh no, Alex. Street. It looks like an old Genesis music video. It looks like a wear sloth. What is the what is the name of the little sloth guy from the Ice Age movies? It's him when he made some bad decisions in his life. I think it's Sid, right? Yeah, Sid made some bad decisions. Damn, they're already in bed together? Fuck, one movie? Did he even buy her dinner? Oh my goodness, I cannot believe we're having to riff this movie right now. It's crazy. She she was living on a park bench earlier in the film, and he's he doesn't know her STD history. He is playing with fire, son. It's not the full moon that turns him into. It makes you wild. The moon doesn't do it. She's all, oh no, I'm fine. I totally have no STDs. I just turn into a fucking werewolf. It's wrong. And now you do too. Welcome to the world of werewolf AIDS. What, yes. Hey, what? You have to wear a silver lace a condom woman. to have sex with her. <laughs> Why don't you take this off? No. That's an awful lot of sweat. Oh, I've got I've got ah. six nipples underneath there. You don't want to see it. Trust me. And a pouch. Man, are those guys watching them? Tell me They're watching the same shit as in the beginning of the movie. 
so you do anything Bill else. Really onto something. <laughs> He's like Jason Bateman in Ozark when he's watching the video of uh, his wife having sex over and over again in the first couple episodes. Got to find some tangible evidence. What you need is a smoking gun. What I need is a So is the dude on the left like a, a news guy or a detective based on his hat? I don't know, but he took advice from the waiter, so he should be good, right? Like regardless. The waiter's like, oh, the garlic mashed potatoes are way better than the rice peel. <laughs> oh, look, they're making a film over there. Oh, yeah. No, the climate isn't right for cooperation. There's been a rash of defections to the West. Scientists, artists, key citizens. Arms talks have broken down again. The last thing the White House is going to ask for is information on... Looks rules. like they're filming footage for the opening scene, opening mean. credits of a sitcom in the 80s. Got like guts. right there, he'd look at the paper, the song would She's hit a crescendo, dancing. his actor's name would come across the screen, and he'd smile. Invited me to a rehearsal. No, he wouldn't be smiling. He knows He knows what, what he's doing. Call. He knows where his career's at right now. That dude is uh, way past middle age, Josh. He's not smi smiling about <laughs> shit. You're talking about I did knows, not do it. He's at. <laughs> I did not do it. I did not film that shitty movie. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> he's like i'm bored with this newspaper let's go back to my classroom and watch that video again <laughs> that is scary. that's actually better than this movie like that that looked like they were on the red carpet like doing a little thing for the award show you know that this is a movie this dude must be a very successful director because i mean he's he's clearly eating well i mean he's making enough money to like you know be morbidly obese, right, gentlemen? Yeah, I mean, he's, you know, he's, th this character is actually an origin story. He's the weird ass scientist, uh, Mittenhand from Spate, Leprechaun in Space. This is, uh, his history, actually. As soon as he was done filming this, he had to go and do the seance where Beetlejuice showed up. Fancy dress, make it grisly. Remember, it's a full moon bath. Oh, did, did the audience get that? Alex, tro uh, troll guy, did y'all both get that? Full moon tonight. At least they didn't say full moon pictures. Whew. Might as well be. Somebody's doing some serious drugs. Like, I'm having so much fun at this party, but I'm about to turn into a goddamn werewolf here <laughs> any moment. Side effects of fuck it all may include spontaneous werewolfing. Someone clearly spiked the punch at this party. What's up? Just warning. Oh, go ahead. Stay with me. Take it easy, Jay. I love you. Is that what the, uh,. The warning would be any anybody with sensitivity to lights that might have seizures or turn into a werewolf, you have been warned. Okay, so this is a big Hollywood party, but it looks like it's being thrown in someone's back room. It is actually. The guy's actually just a porn director and hasn't they're actually filming them right now, so this is part of the movie. Wait a minute. She said she didn't feel good and his like, how he's going to make her feel better is by inserting his Dracula penis. <laughs> well, you know, he's famous, and when you're famous, they let you do it. What is up with the, the noise her jaw makes? I mean, that was happening even during the day, right? So... She needs to go to a fucking orthodontist. Stage door. Wow. Is that the name of the club, the stage door? Exit stage right even. I'm out of here even. I can't believe I'm even in this movie even. This movie is bad, atrocious even. I wish she fucking did turn into Snagglepuss instead of a werewolf. Oh my god, a were snaggle. A werepuss. <laughs> How oh the Howling Seven, the rise of Snagglepuss. Oh jeez. Now I'm gonna have nightmares. I'm gonna kill the even! It's a full moon rumble! Here you go for the protagonist of the movie, Alex. I I'm turning to a werewolf. I gotta get away to save people. Where am I gonna go? Here, I'll go into this arcade full of small children. <laughs> she should be more scared of that arcade because those games are great and she's gonna lose her money. You wanna be terrified? We still got an hour and eight minutes to go. 
Hey! What? What? I know what's going on. Shut is, it, is this the same movie? What? What? Did that just happen? Like, I'm, I'm speechless for the first time in Slash Crack's history. I'm speechless. What'd they do? What'd they do? I'm lost. I was Ch lost as soon as they started the film, to be honest with you, gentlemen. Uh, the movie they were watching within the movie. Oh, what if this is Got all a, a movie within a movie? This is Shapeshifters 9. That's the plot twist. You just met her and banged her for like two seconds. He actually feels pretty good about himself because he's never actually like physically broken a female after sex like that. He's like, well, you know, it, you know, it sucks she's not feeling good, but, you know, like, a boy, you know? That cop is actually uh, taking him aside and saying, you're under arrest for rape. <laughs> We've Sir? Been for you. <laughs> Sir, you absolutely demolished her vag. You are the greatest man at sex we've ever seen. Unfortunately, she will be dead later. Nurse, She's got a pouch. Fast. Seal off the hospital. Seal off the hospital? You never know with these marsupial howlings. I wonder if this came out around the same time that story was going... Like, the, a dingo ate your baby. <laughs> Is that all you're going to tell him? Wait, that's all it took for him to go is he found a woman with an extraordinary anatomy? She's just got, like, big breasts and her jaw clicks. Yeah! There's nothing you can do to help now. I love her, you She's going to die. I mean, she's going to live. Which one is the good one? And if I get this stick out of my ass so I can quit making this face, I'll let you know, too. Mm, it hurts. Oh, ow, 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 ow. ow. We'll She's oddly later. optimistic. Was there any She's just got a smile on her face no. while he's crying. Got <laughs> She's gonna die. <laughs> it's gonna be so great. <laughs> he's he's crying because he's never had uh, that easy what? of a lay before. So it's like, you know, the, going back to real life here, gentlemen. He's fucked. I've never seen anything like it. It's like latex makeup it's attached to her belly. Going on there. I think she's pregnant. How do you know? Like nothing we've ever seen. The internal organs are going far <laughs> like, Wait a minute. Ever wait a minute. Gentlemen, the army is at this hospital now all of a sudden? The What's the way the, the waiter got on the wire with the, the general and he's there. That's all you need to know. Maybe you should see how wolf like or marsupial kangaroo like I can be. Really? We are literally like twenty five minutes into this film and I don't think we have to is she, okay, tell me this. Is she a were sloth or a were kangaroo? A werewolf? I don't understand. She's a were hoochie. And he's got were babies now? What the fuck is that? They look like Alex. It's Freddy. Oh, I know who it is, guys. It's Glenn. He finally came back to find Maggie. He said, I'll find you. He found her. That was Glenn. Hi. Hi. Last thing you hear before you get eaten, a werewolf saying hi. Hi. <laughs> what do you think, Beckmeyer? I wonder how many more of them there are out there. Call the waiter, he'll let you know. The waiter's like, soup of the day, what we're out of, items 86, the special, and if there are any more werewolf marsupials around. One of these is a pig, right? We got a pig, uh, and that one was a sloth. I don't know. One one of the nuns is a pig, right? I know that much. Josh, oh. don't speak that way about a woman of a cloth. Okay, fine. The the red dot from the scary stories. Did you see that she got bit by that spider and it laid eggs in there? See. This means sharp. A new species of human. This is gonna be the greatest scientific discovery of all time. Alive, it's gonna species. be. It's our. It's laying in a bed up there. What are you doing down here? That has Why does that guy look like he's paralyzed from the neck down? 
Because <laughs> he's tired of listening to this guy's bullshit. Pouch for Christ's sake. He's like, you could have just asked me to talk to you. You didn't have to paralyze me. I would have stayed and listened, I promise. <clears throat> these, these cops don't even have badges. Like, they couldn't even afford badges for, for these outfits for the movie. What is this place? Place that makes little targets? Oh my god, that guy, he paralyzed a lot of people. He just wanted them all to listen to him talk about that woman. So the nuns we want to help her, Donnie, in some off-screen scene saved her? Information at all the same nun, I mean, the same women that slapped the shit out of her are holding her like she's a, a scientist, not a cop. And that guy's not going to get his biggest experiment or whatever in human anatomy ever. Be realistic. I don't know much at all, really. I found her. I don't know much, I but I know I love you. Fell in love with her. You didn't her. just. just you didn't just find her in a park, there, pal. Uh, you parked your car in the middle of the freeway and Did chased her she... off the park bench that you spotted her in. A town called Flow. I don't think the the. I think this is kind of like Tommy was so, where the director of this movie is not paying for air conditioning. Did you have Everybody's sweaty constantly so far. Well, the only thing the director's been doing is running upstairs, chasing girls in the park, and fucking, of course he's sweating. Give me a break. <laughs> Her anatomy and metabolism are totally different to ours, Donnie. Please ask a question. He's the fittest guy on set, Josh. Take it back. Luigi? This dude. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> when we examine her, sweating his ass off. Well, he's just been dumping loads in that like in all film. How were we? He's exhausted. We don't exactly know because of her metabolism. It looks like Elon Musk tough with a T. You could conceivably be the father. What? Oh my God. He's like, oh, no, 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 I'm gone. I've got to find her. Please. I could have puppies out there. Or you have what do you, whatever you call baby you kangaroos. Take her away. Don't leave her alone. Who are these people? <laughs> what? This is like the island of Dr. Boro. Like, what's going on here? That looks like that, that uh, Rappaport, Michael Rappaport. That's the dude who kissed her on the neck earlier. Oh, sure is. Without consent. It's a circle. A circle. I will buy you candies <laughs> and the finest things. Just shut up. I guess he listened. His voice this, actually broke it. <laughs> Go ahead. This movie fucking makes no sense. This movie sucky yo. We don't want to watch you. Is her jaw going to make that noise the other lady's jaw makes, Josh? And <laughs> she's she going to say, hi. <laughs> this has nothing to do with the movie. It was actually just backstage footage, like behind-the-scenes footage here. Performance. This is the first time they've ever met, actually. He just really loves teeth and mouths. And eyeballs. He looks like Adam Arkin, but just mixed with, like, John Hanna, I guess. Vibration. He's moving his image. He's moving his forehead a awful lot here, guys. See your face. Assume the position. <laughs> Robin Williams? What? Freddy? Don't see the attraction. What Don't is... see the attraction. Oh. Sorry. What's up, Mikey? That's no, just, I mean, this is a, a movie full of people with just uh, act so stupid. I mean, it's like, what is she? And what? Like, what the fuck is she doing? <laughs> Come on. 
He's like, I don't know if I like this or, or don't. I'm trying to decide. <laughs> What's the save for it again? Cut. This is how she acts in real life. They just picked her up off the street. She's the ring chick before she died. Uh, or is that the grudge? I'm sorry, I got it backwards. The ring chick was like a uh, nine. Uh, yeah, I'm saying that noise from the grudge. Uh, Wait a minute. So this guy is a professor. He can just walk into hospital rooms. He can just he shows up at ballets, front row. Uh, who the hell is this guy? He's part of the GBI, the Generic Bureau of Investigation. He's actually supposed to be playing like multiple roles, but they just don't tell the audience that. We just assume it's the same guy, but he's supposed to be like four different parts. He's a boob inspector. He's got the he's got the badge and everything. The Dank Swan. <laughs> I think that's cute that they think they're going to fill that entire entire uh, room there with all those no, seats. That's actually, this is actually the show. They're the only people that bought tickets. <laughs> <laughs> look, dog. Look, dog. This isn't working for me, dog. You're not going to go to round two, dog. Somebody hit the X. Beer. Is that enough for you to stop? Do you have to keep, I mean, do you still want to dance after that? If you saw that woman's face? It kind of reminds me of that Angela Sings girl or whatever her name is. Stop the song, stop it. It's, you, you, you've, hit the, you've hit the CGI note. It's turning me into a, CG, a horrible CGI monster. Does he not see this going on? No. <laughs> what Bible has he been reading? That guy deserved that. Even the movie knew better than to show off their monster there, guys. I feel bad for the guy who's running that uh, production because it's so close to opening curtain and he's got to replace that guy. What are you talking about? That attack happened during their first show. <laughs> Oh, well, holy shit, man. It's gonna have to be can't. They're gonna have to close the curtain and retool. What? But they've got a whole. They've got, they sold six tickets to the second show. Wait, is she possessed by a demon or is she a werewolf? That looks like Aunt Jackie on crack from small, from Roseanne. She's possessed by Kanga and Rue. Oh, boy. Like, oh, wow. Where the wild things are, I thought it was a joke. Ah, oh, that won't hurt me, it's not a silver bullet. Oh shit, why did I say that? Wait, wait, they have a hive mind? She felt his pain? I thought that she was the one turning into a werewolf. Was she able to project a werewolf? From her badge? I don't... I get... I... Low, low rent Adam Arkin. Wait, I thought you couldn't kill a werewolf with regular bullets. That, well, thank God. You're, you are correct, Josh. That guy just happened to have silver bullets at that exact moment. I never saw anybody throw anybody out a window. I saw him grab somebody, but what was... What was... What? Was that like... Was that footage of somebody killing themselves because they were in the shitty of a movie? What was that? That was the sneak preview audience. Uh, all one of them, when they saw this film, they jumped out of the, the building to their death. That's what happens. It, it really does feel like a cursed video, like just a bunch of jumbled up scenes, you know, that make no sense together. Add some eerie thing, music and black and white effect. Huh? The only thing that could have saved this film is if they had somehow had enough money to, to hire Paul Hogan. That's not a movie. This is a movie. Crocodile yeah. Dundee versus the Howling. Crocodile Dundee. Did you see Master Evil put me in, in an even older cell? It's so old, man. The damn cell is black and white. It's crazy. Yeah, you're in a Roger Rabbit tune lockdown right now. All the color has been drained from your cell. Do you think this place has flow? 
Like the, from Progressive? It said flow on the sign, didn't it? <laughs> oh. Oh, now we're in like a old spaghetti western. What's going on here? Dirt Spawn Ranch. Oh no, there's a giant pixel coming at us. Mikey, what are we going to do? Uh-oh. Mikey? Does that say flow or does it say am I just reading that wrong? I don't know, but I think Mikey may have offed himself after 37 minutes of this movie. <laughs> he can rejoin. Keep an eye on us. He's like, I don't need to pay. I don't need to monitor this situation. It's already bad enough as it is for these two guys. Jeez, good eye. Want to put a shrimp on the barbie? Christ, mate. Oh my God, he really said that. He really said that. Wow. The bastards nearly shot me. Anyone else live around here? Oh, not another idiot. I've had bloody idiots asking me all day if I've seen Wolfman. Well, this whole Have you seen Wolfman? Where's your maid going? <laughs> Have you seen the Wolfman, Alex? Oh, shut up, Candy. These mugs are looking for I haven't Wolfman. seen the Wolfman, but I've That's seen the Wolfman. No, we're looking for the Wolfman. Here it flow. I flow. Whatever it says. That Cloud? older gent That older gentleman's Everybody eyebrows look forward. part lichen. Oh my goodness. He is he's the grandfather he's a grandfather marsupial, he's gotta be. Those eyebrows probably get their own credit at the end of the movie. Click, click, click. Hi. That dude's exhausted. He's had a long day of sexually harassing strangers. What is... I, I don't understand where we are. Is this like a werewolf village? I think... I think we're being incepted into some sort of weird werewolf dream. Like, this isn't actually a movie, and we're not actually riffing this right now, I don't think. Oh, here come the sensors. Wait a minute, boobies. Wait, who's she with? She's got a werewolf uh, vibrator. <laughs> I feel like a lot of this mo Wow, that was not on my bingo card to see a werewolf being born. I feel like a lot of scenes were so bad they couldn't use them, but they still had to put the rest of the movie together because it seems so disjointed. Oh, really? You so you think you think that the scenes they decided to put back into the film because it was disjointed is helping this film feel less disjointed? <laughs> I'm totally lost, man. I they they don't explain shit from scene to scene. It is like this is next level storytelling. They were doing so good. You know who what? wrote this movie? You know who wrote this movie? Master Evil? Vince Russo. Oh my goodness, yes. He was sent there by Vince to destroy it. <laughs> it was produced by 1999 WCW production. I don't I don't like how the, she acted like she was getting laid and was like getting off, but all it was was like a baby coming out of her. That was that weird is, to me. That's almost as weird as when Corey Feldman, right before he was going to have sex, said he had to go see his daughter first. Oh my god, it is. Oh my god. Hold on. I've got to go talk to my daughter first. Look, this is an incredible opportunity to study an alien species, please. Hey, are we going to tell Master Evil that his proxy just dipped on us? I think he's listening. He's, he's trying to make a full decision on our fates and everything, so let's try to do a good job and get out of here. They're bloody evil, mate. Spirit. Bad, stupid Indiana Jones. Evolutionary freaks. Revolut. What the heck? Is that an alien or a were marsupial? I don't know. And like he slept. So this lady on the park bench. They they were humping the first day that they met. She already had a baby like two days later, I guess. In the time, like, is that how long it's been? Right. Are they gonna? What? What? Those are supposed to be ancient cave drawings, buddy. It's a giant kangaroo. This is really a movie. I think when, that's did what he the... take... 
Huh? When did he take that Polaroid? He was too busy humping her throughout the first 40 minutes of the film to take any pictures. The way he acts, maybe before he even chased her the first time. <laughs> I don't know. This might be a thing that's been going on for a while, like a Roadrunner situation. <sighs> it looks like Cubert. She gave birth to Cubert. Oh. That's actually what all babies look like. And when you visit, and they're like, oh, you got to come see our baby. Our baby's beautiful. And you're like, all newborn babies are ugly. So you're like, oh, it's, it's, it's adorable. Got to get out of here while it's still dark. The whole area is full of soldiers and cops. But they're actually, you know, hideous. How did you, know? you find Yeah. Them? I was drawn to you. I sensed you were close. You'll never be separated again. I thought you'd hate me. What? I, was. I think it's so hot. I'm into animals. I know it's weird, but it's okay, right? So, no, ooh, get off of me. No, what? I'm a human werewolf combination. That'd be a lot of stress knowing that if you had sex, you could have a full grown baby in like two days. <laughs> no time to plan at all. I feel like he's going to get eaten by his baby or something. Oh, the, 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 the waiter called in some favors. <laughs> the law is there. The, all those guys, they're not actually in the military. They're just bus boys and dishwashers. <laughs> there is backup. <laughs> Prep cooks. Bellman. Oh, my goodness. This guy. I can't tell... Is he related? You think he's related to the guy that was directing the movie earlier? They look like they could be brothers. I have no idea, but whoever's got him in their sight, shoot him, please. Thank you. Why, why rush them? If they've got the, they've got the high ground and they've got the drop on them, why, why rush them? Why not just all trank them? Trank every one of them. Why did you come and what's Ada Wong doing there all of a sudden? You had no right. She just wrapped up her okay. Resident Evil 5 story and needed to drop by for this. I don't know. My only and interest <laughs> is to help you. This guy's in another outfit. He's in an Indiana Jones outfit this time. He's, he's Illinois Jones. <laughs> he's got more wardrobe changes than the host of the Oscars. Indiana fi Indianapolis 500 Jones. You know he's destroyed Maine. He's the Indiana Jones. Uh, we have Indiana Jones at home. Action figure. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, this, these poor women. Do you remember being a kid and like you're looking for a G.I. Joe action figure, but all they had was Battle Core? Oh my gosh, dude. Or, or you go to get uh, Ninja's Hurdle toy and all they have is the Rat King. How? <laughs> you let us examine you. Let us put you under hypnosis. It looks like you're going to do it regardless of if she agrees to be examined or not. Yeah, you... his negotiating skills are crap. See. Lieutenant Dan, uh, the actor, his character from The Where Stand is in the next room over. I wonder... So this set That's has so... been used quite a few times so far, this little hospital set. Yeah. I, I would love to know what the production budget was for this film. I... I'm going to I'm going to go out on a limb and say at least 5 like to 10 thousand <laughs> I thought you were going to say dollars. Oh yeah, maybe that too. <laughs> 5 to 10 Bucks. dollars. <laughs> in bad human. Wait, now she's going to talk in a foreign language and she's a zombie werewolf uh monster thing or like She's reading from the Book of the Dead right now. She's possessed, too, yeah. Oh, there's a movie, dude. An evil werewolf dies, goes to hell, possesses another werewolf. Marsupial. I don't understand. I, 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 I poop my pants. And then makes two unassuming guys, uh, just your average day Joes, watch the movie uh, while they're locked in dungeons. <laughs> You know what Michael Clark did to us, Josh? What's that? He pulled a Houdini. He sure did. He, he did he, what I used to do at parties. I'd like show up, have some cocktails, eat a little bit of food, and I wouldn't say bye to anybody. I'd just dip. 
I was enjoying it, man. That's some, he was he was funny. Uh, it just I think what he's doing is trying to lull us into a sense of security, so that he's gone, but he's really still here. So, oh, she's gonna have another litter. Wait, I thought she should look like she's like getting off or something. Isn't that what they enjoy? She's she must be having a kid right now because she looks like she's at the height of werewolf pleasure. And at least she's got doctor, cop, teacher scientists taking care of her right indiana jones i don't like that this guy uh what is the what is the oath they have to take like you're not supposed to like be sexually the like hip, the hippocratic the hippocratic oath i'm not supposed i you're not supposed to molest your patients here there do, bud uh, do no, do no harm time. do no harm I, I think he's doing plenty of physical and mental harm there it looks like a gelfling <laughs> She's is, got a gelfling. Is this supposed to be a horror movie? A horror movie? I think so. Because they're all like... Oh, horror movie. It's supposed to be, yeah. Wait a minute. What is she, what is going on here? She's tasting the little fingers. Oh, my God. Now, does he not look like a gelfling to you from Dark Crystal? <laughs> yes. I'm, it, with Without the hair, yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's a baby gelfling, everybody. It's so cute. Kind of looks like the dinosaur from Dinosaurs. Not the mama! Oh, God, don't get it wet. I do not want to know what happens if you get it wet or feed it after midnight, please. Who the fuck are you? Oh, my God! All of them were taken. That would have been great. <laughs> they're just on a really bad opium trip led by this guy. This isn't real. They never, she never had the baby. That dude hasn't changed his clothes nine times. The waiter replaced the, uh, the mushroom shavings for their pasta. He replaced it with, like, magic mushroom shavings. I just had the funniest thought ever. That that guy looks like Viscerous, Visceral, <laughs> or whatever his name was from Game of Thrones? No, what do you got? No, I just see all those things monitoring What's his brain. There's, like, nine section cups. I just thought it would be funny if they were, like, on his balls. Oh, my God. <laughs> what twist? That is his testicle. Oh my god. He looks like Dr. Mittenhand. Like That's what. Yeah, it looks like this is the prehistory for Mittenhand. This is what caused it. They they fried his brain. This is like, this movie is making Leprechaun in space look like an Academy Award winning production. I'm not trying to be gross, but that the actor himself looks like he might be a smelly guy, and he's got his legs just spread wide in a hospital gown right now. Oh, his taint is absolutely, his gooch area is just destroying that robe. Look at that, his, that doctor's eyes are watering. <laughs> Cut. I can't deliver my lines from the cue card in front of me because this man's gooch offends me. It smells like the icy from uh, Ready to Rumble. Flashing lights can make us. It's like the chocolate covered pretzels in Mall Rats. And I swear, if there's one audience member that is like, God, these guys wouldn't shut up, I couldn't hear one part of this movie. I think we saved you, actually, so you should be thanking us. <laughs> Josh, there's going to be one guy in the comments that's going to be like, Oh, I thought, you know, there's a link to fucking the marsupials, and these guys wouldn't shut the hell up. <laughs> exactly. Ruined a perfectly good movie. Piss me off. I'm going to give you a seizure, asshole. They couldn't even afford a strobe light. He's, like, flicking it on and off. I am not even lying, buddy. According to Did you the see the doctor moving his hand dead. back and forth? He's flicking that light on and off. Sucking energy in! Oh, here comes Mittenhand. You, we were both right, weren't we? Jeez. Stop that fire. This has gone far enough. Okay, Alex, do you think this movie should have been uh, put in for an Oscar? It wasn't? No, no, it was not. Oh my god, I've had those kind of massive traps before, haven't you? Turn to a werewolf, you push so hard. I wish that when they this movie came out, like as a way to promote the film, that they had cardboard cutouts, and in the pouch of the cardboard cutout is, you know, tickets to the film or tickets to get the VHS like half off or something. They pay you to watch the movie. They're like 50% off, Howling 3, Marsupials, and just reach into this Marsupials 3, the Howling cardboard cutout pouch. He's got reflectable little discs for eyes. Did you see that? Oh my goodness. 
And now it looks like we're watching a video tape. Wait a minute, his, his face had already turned into a werewolf. Why was it returning into a werewolf? And does he have, does he, does he have pouches as well? Does the werewolf see in like, like the predator? Like he just sees body heat? Why, do, why are we seeing this guy like in body heat images? <laughs> his name, I love that his name is Harry. Are you okay, Harry? Harry, are you all right? You're one to be calling me names. You okay? No, your, your name's Harry. I'm okay. You've That's just, you know, now. getting bit and mauled by a werewolf. It's a Tuesday for me. He's he's 100% going to have one more costume change, and I think it's definitely going to be into a werewolf. Oh, yeah. He's like, I got to go wash up. I got to go get the Ark of the Covenant tonight. They're identical to the markings of the Tasmanian wolf. Oh, please quit turning back into a human. He's a Tasmanian devil. Where, uh, where Taz? Too bad we don't have awesome equipment. I just turned him into like a tornado right here and let him go off the screen. <laughs> They're like, let's put, if he was a Tasmanian devil, let's put him in a Flash costume. <laughs> He's aware of that. I can't do Taz. <laughs> I can't do the voice. I tried. I got pouches. <laughs> Thanks for the stock footage of a Tasmanian tiger for all of us that didn't know what it was. Wiped them out. They started killing them in 1888. By 1910, there weren't many left. Well, I would kill them too if they were turning every big bald guy into them. It'd be scary. Do you know so, what this is? How did this happen? So, you know how most diseases, like someone had sex with the animal or something and it caused some major outbreak? We were born yeah. So like one of these dudes... Or He's females slept with one of these animals. He's a lion, a tiger, a hyena, bears, and the wolf. Oh my. How were you born from him? When the hunters killed him, his spirit came into us. He Forcefully. Us Didn't even take us out for dinner first. We are him. My mother was sitting on a park bench, and my father parked his Luxury 55 Chevy Nova on the side, wrong side of the road, chased my mother up a flight of stairs and then had his way with her multiple times. And of course, two days later, I was born. <laughs> born the next day. What the hell's the matter with Can't you see the point of nurturing a species like this? Don't preach to me. Yeah, he just pinched his cheek a couple minutes ago there. <laughs> Yeah, and he oh, was trying to so big. <laughs> and he was trying to like have sex You're with the female one, the lady in red. Yeah, Ada Wong. He's a freak. That's all there is to it. Hey, so damn, you might That's be a freak. You ever thought of that? We have to what the hell hospital life. room has access to just old school ropes? Phenomena. Like, where are the ropes at? Where are they located in the hospital? I believe that these creatures are more than extremely dangerous. Now, before you Give me some ropes, God I damn it. We gotta tie this thing the scientific significance of studying them. However, we are of the opinion they should be wiped out completely. That is outrageous. Now, before you well, go off the deep that's end, that's outrageous. She was here to sleep with me. We've been delving into our records. That is outrageous. Who, We've found some if remarkable we out information. Completely, we, who's Foster? gonna turn into a werewolf? The British started killing Kill them in Tasmania in 1880. We got to have the howling for the marsupials meet the honey badgers. The marsupials meet the Jetsons. They should be eliminated. <laughs> there was a total secrecy imposed on the operation. To quote, and did you just say they should be eliminated? Because that sounds like a good idea. It is hot outside. It's so alarming that public panic would ensue if their existence was believed to be real. No, eliminate them. No yeah, get them eliminated. I got it. No. About this Are we talking about to humanity? country time? And what was the outcome of these? No, we're talking like the little well, things on Doctor Who. Exterminate, London, exterminate, do that. Were believed to be extinct. There is no Hopefully fucking way were, uh, that military guy's hair, that's his actual hair. governments to keep the matter secret for all time that like you think like you think they gave him the a buried. oh yeah oh, we yeah. asked him what? Him to no our it's, it's actually a marsupial that crawled on his head yeah, he's got a fucking lichen a baby lichen on his head you're not suggesting that they movie? are a satanic manifestation no but the historical records are enough to convince us that we should complete the operations wait you have historical records to I'll show to you when some, some, something is satanically no, created or whatever Oh yeah, there's tons President of military government stuff they don't tell us about, Josh. I guarantee, like, 
For instance, you, uh, some dude just went on record this week uh, saying that aliens do, in fact, exist. Uh, I believe it, too. Kind of I didn't need him to tell me that, but... Uh-oh, woman, I'm telling you, get out of that room, because if not, somebody's getting laid, and you, you, know you might not want to be a part of that. Wait a minute. You're telling him to leave the room? Her. Lest he does, someone's getting Her. laid? Her leave yeah, the room I'll before, because one of these guys is bound to just, like, try to mount her. They travel to the pouch and grow in there. It helps them to survive. How? I wonder if a pouch is like a, uh, like a pouch well, is like a clever hunted. way of like vagina. Like if I wonder if that's what it's supposed to be. They grow in there to get the to get bigger, she said. Chance. They go in there to get so bigger, so your tribe I think that's, that's kind of what happens normally. 30 minute warning. <laughs> Warning that we no, still have 30 no. minutes of this shitter. And that's uh, that's only two and a half more episodes of DuckTales, basically. Oh, okay. Life is like a hurricane when you're watching shitty movies. Oh, werewolves, werewolves, uh, Tasmanian devils lurk behind you. There's a marsupial with pouches out to find you. Oh what to do? Just grab you onto some random woman and have sex. <laughs> Stay calm and do exactly what I said. Every day you're out there grabbing lichen tails. <laughs> Not pony tails or pouchy tails. There's some random guy by the water. <laughs> that, that guy is in a perfect squat position, man. That was great form. Is Mac and me hungry over there? They, they, okay, so this baby was born two days after they humped, and it's been like another day, and the baby's still okay. the same size. Okay, like, what's the rate of growth here? I'm not understanding. This baby should be like 10 by now. She has that, yeah, exactly, and she took the, she took the man out there to help protect her and the baby, and he was the last one to notice the dudes, like, just standing out in the open with guns pointed at him. That the monkey baby is knows like, first. <laughs> that monkey even oh knows it's in a terrible movie and wants to get upset. It's like, get me out of here. I'm supposed to go kill Morgan Freeman somewhere. Hey, there's Mikey actually releasing us from our cages. Oh, I hope he does. Did you see the robe he was wearing? He's like, this is the worst spa I've ever been to. I'm giving you a Yelp rating. One and a half stars. Yeah, I'm still in this shitty movie. Over. Yeah, we got 30 minutes no left way. in this film. Copy. I've done it for years. He still hasn't changed. What the hell is Porn Stash from Orange is the New Black doing in the background there? <laughs> it's the best music. job he could get. This music sounds like an in-stage boss at an NES game. This music? <laughs> I think you just used that Hang word on. to, like, <laughs> really stretch the word music. But yeah, I agree. MIDI file. It's like a MIDI file. Sometimes the pixels are so bad, I can't even tell what I'm looking at. The car looked like it said, poor lice. I run over the assistant director. I'm going to misery before this movie premieres. Oh, I cannot wait to see what who, had, who got paid in the credits for this movie. I don't even know... Like, is the military the bad guys? Or are the, are the marsupials the bad guys? Or is this I all about sexual predators being taken down? I think it's like some sort of weird political, like, uh, like social, like, we're, per we're persecuting the marsupials, you know what I mean? Like, they, they're, they're different from normal people, and we need to, like, go easy on them, you know? Really? There's like, you think that the person who wrote this movie had a deeper meaning in, in mind? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Mac and me, Delfling. I don't know. I'm running out of this. You don't look like Cubert anymore. That's sad. I think the guy holding the baby is probably the one working in the fucking puppet ass. Probably. Like Good in the it, the it miniseries when John Ritter's like controlling the balloon ah! in the back of the cab. Candy, why do you always do that? Sorry, I've been following you. Always? Heard guns. We're going into the high country to hide. He, he literally I just popped into the scene like five minutes ago earlier. They got a good black tracker with them. 
you got to move I'll be fast. fine. Don't you see the hat I'm wearing? It's a perfect disguise. I need to take your baby out on his walkabout now. It was it's angry. just about to reach adulthood. Do a Popeye. They're like, okay, here you go. Wait a second. Sweet peas can't walk. I was going to carry him, Popeye. As long as you weren't going to take him for a drag. I just love that. Who is this guy, though? It's like a little little elf or something. Just popped out of nowhere when they need something. The genie. I've never seen a movie where I don't recognize anybody. Like, I've never seen any of these people in anything else. Well, that guy, the guy with the beard is the grand now, genie of the pouch. Get moving. I'll see you later. What? He's all business, man. No kissy kissy. We lost him. Never now. Oh, that that's guy's, game over. Huh? That guy's chest, the father of the Gelfling, uh, his chest is going to be sunburnt to yeah, shit. <laughs> that's just dust. This giant skin pill at the end of the movie. Oh, so he's, he's getting he's getting sunburnt for sure. He's reckless with those no he's sleeves and the buttons open. They need to be careful. They're actually in Nilbog County, and if they're not careful, those cops are going to throw bologna sandwiches at him and do it the hard way. Yeah, and try and, and attempt to sex <laughs> and, and attempt to molest them when they give them a ride. <laughs> yeah. Why not? A water rat took a dump. I'm hungry like the... Can't think of a thing. Marsupial. So, I wonder if any of these people go to any conventions. Like, if they go to any whore conventions. Like, what's their line look like? <laughs> it's the one next to George Hardy. Sometimes he is. We love George Hardy, by the way. He got a question for you. Can I ask another question? One more question. George Hardy is available for crowns, uh, lateral incisor uh, replacements, and for uh, you headgear. And he's taken questions at 2 o'clock on the center stage. Miss Kenny, gone to warn Jaboa. There's a hunting party after her. Jaboa Jaboa or Jaboa Boa? That looks like John C. Riley at the back there. Here. Come with you. Take Who are y'all? Thanks. Can I ask you? He he did a costume you, change. Uh, I'm Thyla's cousin. He looks like Ravik no, ravishing Rick Crude. His eyebrows look like they just took some of that hay bale and just like glued it to his forehead. Good luck. Can you imagine their eyes. All that sand, having to film in it. Okay, now he's naked. This, okay, they're making the movie and they're like, okay, you know that little magical dude we added? Do you think we have enough of him in it, or should we like strip him down and like put him center stage? You think that'd be good for the movie? So, no, they're going full magic dude here. Is he turning into a werewolf? Either that or a werewolf is just enjoying watching him dance naked like that. And the Oscar goes to? I'll give you 50 bucks. Hey, listen. That's the big fella there. Him? That's the mining company. Oh, hi, Mark. Jacko? It's not the bloody mining company. It's here. guy Jacko? The yeah, guy's man. like, I'll give you There's 20 bucks to do man. this. And he's like, well, I'll be dead. And he's like, I'll give you 50 Huge. bucks. And the guy's like, okay, thanks. Really long. That does it for me. I'm going. Me too. I got my line in. What Seat's taken. Do? Don't look behind you. If you hear a noise, eh? Hey? It'll be him. See if you turn around. He's trying to get his lines out before he forgets him. And I mean slow. Oh, really slow. Come on, we've got four hours to I got it all, everybody. Yay! <laughs> be belly, belly quiet. I'm hunting Q-Birds. <laughs> well, I say, I say, I say that baby's a chicken hawk. Or a chicken. What is, what is she feeding that baby? Like, I haven't seen that baby eat or do anything. Whatever other than she, just... Uh, 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 uh. I think she's feeding it power pellets like uh, Qbert gets or whatever, or Pac-Man. Dude, Qbert's a bitch. Have you ever tried to play Qbert again as an adult? Man, I just jump off the side of the fucking screen over and over again. It's awesome how they did the 3D thing on a 2D system, but yeah, it's hard as shit. It is really hard. Oh, they got good security cameras set up here like in grocery stores. Oh my god, somebody's gonna get killed? Hey, nothing even touched that guy in the last scene. He just threw himself back. 
It looked like a were raccoon. He did. Oh, it hit the camera. It's a rental, dude. Be careful. So if these guys aren't alive, is that guy gonna still get his 50 bucks? Nope. Oh. Get down there. <laughs> It's Ash from the Evil Dead. Oh! No, it's the Elmer Fudd guy. I think he just threw a wig off there. Wow, man, this is like the best movie I've ever seen in my life. I'm having a really good time. I mean, this movie Jaboa. is amazing. Jaboa. Jaboa, Jaboa. Jaboa. What? I'm trying to talk to my husband. Husband? Did they get married? I guess. I don't know. Stupid Lex Luthor there is looking for him, though. Well, the marriage ceremony in Australia, Josh, is actually you have to you have to chase the girl up a flight of stairs, have your way with her physically and sexually, and then uh, you're married. But you have to find her in public first, just randomly, and chase her like that? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, and she has to, like, put up a fight and say no. So if he was the if he was a werewolf... Who mauled him? Or did they, all the dancing kill him? Makes no he's, sense. He's older. He's older. It's really hot. He's probably having a heat stroke. <laughs> Just out there dancing too long, right? Yeah, he didn't take the proper precautions. No way. I'm just going to die. I'm just going to dance some more as me and Alex riff this movie with no interruptions. Oh, Mufasa's gone. Do you think that that baby is just the, a head wrapped in a blanket, or do you think they actually made the rest of the body? Right? I don't know. And who the was this old man that popped out of nowhere for like two scenes, and now they're mourning him like he was their father? I don't know, but they should put the master, like, reel, the master copy of this film on that fire so nobody else has to watch this. Wait, are you a good guy or a bad guy? It's very... I don't understand what's going on. I thought that he had his head and chest and balls uh, electrified, didn't he? Yes! I really feel like a lot of this movie, they they filmed some scenes that were just too bad to put out. <laughs> and they cut it out and it doesn't explain anything. Exactly, and they even kept a lot that was shitty, but they had no choice. <laughs> They're like, Vestron wanted an hour 30, and we're going to give Vestron an hour 30. <laughs> <laughs> Vestron Pictures is quality. People expect the best. Jesus, and man. by this God, is... the Howling 13, the marsupials, we're going to make it right. I wouldn't even show anybody this film if I was in this movie. I'm seriously, like, if I was in this, no one would know. Oh, you wait till he makes us watch the Howling 4 one day. Oh my good. Oh my good god. Oh. Stay out of this You just had a Freudian slip, dude. You said, oh my good. You're looking forward to it. Oh no. We can't afford to start fighting amongst ourselves. I love Jaboa. Only thing that would save this movie is if they recast that Doctor Explorer cop guy with the mustache, like in the like here at the end. All of a sudden it's a different actor. That would be fantastic. Uh, you know, it would be even better when they recast him if it was Ted McGinley. Oh my god. <laughs> Have you ever seen that, that, like, TV shows that are popular, like, as soon as Ted McGinley shows up, it gets canceled? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, actually, that's not exactly true for Married with Children. That, that no, show I mean, went on for quite a while with him as Jefferson. Christopher McDonald, he's kind of like that, too, on some shows. Whenever he would show up, it would be towards the end. It's like, you know, the show's, like, just about done. Like, Family Matters, when 3J showed up, I'm like, okay, this show's done. I think Christopher and the other guy you were talking about, McGinley, they were both in Greece too, or something like that, weren't they? Uh, no, but Christopher McDonald was definitely in Greece too. Okay, I thought Ted McGinley um, was too. Shooter McGavin for all you slashaholics, and then uh, Ted McGinley was uh, the main alpha beta in Revenge of the Nerds. Wait, is that our main character all of a sudden in military gear? 
No, but it, the mustache is is throwing throwing you off. I think, but Crap. It's a close call. Man, that would have been. Oh, I don't think this was human. You don't say. I believe it might be the Howling Three marsupial. Okay, this movie is officially the best movie I've ever seen. Wait a minute. So since those aren't silver bullets, though, they're still fuck. So this is the, uh, it's gonna be a were werewolf uh, Ash coming after him. Werewolf skeletons attacking people. Something I never thought I'd see. Werewolf skeletons. Jeez Louise. Regular skeletons? No. Werewolf skeletons? That's that's bad news. I wonder if Jack Skellington was actually a marsupial Skellington. This this movie was filmed. This scene right here was filmed on the abandoned set of Gilligan's Island. We can't leave you, Olga. It's too dangerous. You don't know the bush. Yeah, because we're so concerned about that character. Yes. Well, my baby is a loud ass brat that won't shut up. But yeah, yeah. Who's teaching his classes? Like, who's showing the tape to the to the students right now? If who's he's getting out on a walkabout? Yeah, and who's getting his information from a waiter somewhere? And what is the Yeti from WCW doing in this scene? <laughs> it looks like the Yeti with a lucha mask on. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna hump you or whatever whatever he did to Hogan that night. Help me, Jay! Give me the it's just some crazy guy. Help me change. Okay. <laughs> I'm dead. I can't. <laughs> it's broken, Josh. It's over. You alright? <laughs> Emona! What the fuck was okay, that? There. That guy's looking around. He's like, what the I'm fuck not. did I get myself into accepting this role? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, this movie's this movie's broken me, Alex. It's done. Master Evil wins. He finally won. finally did it. <laughs> okay, I'm good. He Oof. sleeps in that tent with a fucking machine gun right next to him, dude. All kinds yeah. of guns. What a if bazooka? he rolled over? What if he rolled over wrong? Exactly. He's got a rocket launcher right next to him, dude. <laughs> A lot of good that <laughs> just looks so <laughs> Was it a silver bazooka? What are we are we in a like a one o'clock an infomercial now? What a great cut. What a great segue here. Do you get time to work out? I sure don't. But thanks to Ab Abcor. <laughs> He's like, I told you to spot me, not watch me. These things. Did you see me do that sweet pull a second ago? The people that rent this movie are going to see how buff I am. I like to do my lateral pull downs in a salmon polo. No, sir. All right, above or below the guy, not not the the older guy here that was doing the working out. Did he make it to 1995? Yes or no? Before or after? Did he die? These guys are both dead. Thank before Christ. or after 95, though. This dude is definitely dead before 95. That guy yeah, is uh, 98. Yes. Okay. This guy's, guy's probably dead. So good to me and... Well, we had to make a go of it. Well, it's more than that. We had to have something like protagonist in this shitter. Yoba Jaboba or whatever. Oh, they love each other. It's all coming together. He's like, I've already got two families, a girlfriend and a mistress, but sure. He knows when she's turned on because he can hear that weird mouth creaking noise. That and all of a sudden there's like eight little points on her shirt. <laughs> that could just mean it's cold, though. Does she sleep with every member of her audience at the ballet? Because there was he was the only he was the only audience member. Wait a second. Did they defeat the evil or something? Was there some plot line that they finished up to tie things up to a happy ending? What? Yeah, dude, yes. Yes, it was all along to defeat uh, the marsupials. You just needed a bazooka. 
And is that bald guy, did he get what he's screaming for to Emona or whatever? Like, what the hell? Well, there's like 14 minutes left of this film, so I'm guessing that this is a false ending. Like, this is like Lord of the Rings. This is like Lord of the Rings Return of the King. This is like the, the false ending before the false ending. Oh, there's your answer. They made a butt. Why did he have nipples on his back for? Oh, there's a sitcom thing. Did you see him spin around smiling? That would have been a sitcom. Oh, there's another one. Look up at the camera. There's the name. Did you see it? I got yes, it. I did. I I'm did. I'm going to edit it. I got to edit it. It's I think you do. I think you do. <laughs> and can, can you please edit us into it as well with Mikey? Yes. Saved by the marsupial. <laughs> Like to go back to the city. The fresh marsupial of uh, Australia. <laughs> Where the hell did this guy on the left get a change of clothes? There's not like a fucking try. store around in the outback. Maybe he was just wearing it underneath identity. his other outfits. <laughs> he's like Barbie. He that just has cool. like paper. He's a paper doll. If this is ridiculous. Out, it broke me earlier. I'm, I'm just. I'm finishing it. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna. Well, you know what it was like. Oh man, well, I think this is the most fun I've had riffing. <laughs> They're like, they, the way they're talking, this is like Brokeback Mountain, the way they're looking at each other and talking, but it's Outback Brokeback. He's like, yeah, do, like you, do you like wrestling? Back into the movies. You like movies you know what about happens out here. You know what happens in the Outback stays in the Outback. You know that. When we go back to our werewolves, we can't, it's not going to be like this, you know. And you don't need six nipples to make your jaw click. Uh, click. Oh, no. Hey, look at that. Look at the way he rubbed his back there. Look, they're definitely in love, Josh. It's is he, is he wearing Daisy Dukes? Is that the guy? Is that a guy wearing Daisy Dukes? The I can see the bottom of his ass cheeks through those. <laughs> wow, that's got to go in the scene of the show. Oh, the proud. Wait, are they just gonna give their baby away to these people? I don't know what's going on, man. Oh, they like, had a baby they... too. What? So, they have no problem. They're just with werewolves now, man. But they're still the other werewolves were le legitimately killing people. Like, what's what is the story here? And who did they defeat to have the happy ending? What? Who was the was the military just the bad guys? They had the military. The bazooka defeated what the evil werewolf, and then the power of their penises defeated the female werewolf. Oh. Evil. So the the bald guy was the big werewolf, and he got killed. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So Emona helps. <laughs> Emona. Let's let's go do another shot of the countryside. This is what it looks like where I live out in the country. That's what our little mountain hill things look like. A lot of scenery like that. I wonder why this movie was never released in like 3D or IMAX, and or even in non-pixeled format. Well. I wonder why this movie never got its own, uh, like, at Universal Studios, like, why they never had a, th a theme, like, roller coaster ride. And the Howling 3, the Marsupials, the ride. <laughs> the video game, the ride. <laughs> LJN could have made an amazing Halloween, or Howling 3, the Marsupials video game for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Uh, if somebody will make that game for us, uh, I think you could sell it. You could, you could sell it to all the retro game collectors. Hey, the car, look at that car, it's got like this, the, remember phones back then that were like that color? <laughs> it looked like that, the big long antennas for the, mm -hmm. for the house. This guy's, what is he doing, who is this? He, he's lost, he has no idea where he's at. Uh, we're going to jump like 50 years in the future, he's a grandpa coming to visit all his baby marps. <laughs> baby marsupials. <laughs> I, dude, I don't know. <laughs> Josh, this is like a, I'm, I'm lost. I'm this, fucking lost, dude. I don't even know what's going on right now, man. We're at the end of the final act, and there's no, like, uh, problems, no bad guys, antagonists, or anything. It's like a 20-minute happy ending for characters we have, we give no shits about. Like, who is this guy? We haven't seen him the entire movie. Shut up. Oh, my God. It's Roy Burns, Josh. <laughs> And the guy shows up, he's like, yeah, your wife sent me. Her and your kids are worried sick. You went to work at the at the college police station and restaurant, and you didn't come home. 
God, it's good to see you. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Look, you can come back. All is forgiven. What are you talking about? Well, briefly. Your wife said all is forgiven. Those generals began executing lycanthropes. It was witch burning. Wait, they killed werewolves, but it was witch burning, the Alex? president begged him to stop. And the Pope came okay. and said that lycanthropes weren't the devil's work and that we were all God's children. He declared an amnesty. The president endorsed it. Is all this true? You think this guy's the star of the movie? I think so. They could only afford to pay him for like seven minutes, so they wanted to maximize his screen time, so they slipped him in on us at the very end of the film. You know, I had this on VHS back in the day. You know what it said on the back? We haven't heard. It had one of those, it had one of those quotes. It said, this is a movie. Harry, it's all did you did you did you have a copy? What what's another saying you saw on the back of the box for it? Truth is always. <laughs> you You'll be lost the entire time. There are more things in heaven and earth, Horatio, than Are you, you afraid of marsupials? Of no. Shit. <laughs> do you like do you like strong plot points and storylines that make sense? Then this what movie isn't for you. Why? I didn't think there was anything wrong with it. Oh, we're in Hollywood. Are they going to make a movie about the movie? And I want you to put in more sex. Sex? Is that what you think that scene's about? Yes, that's what that scene's about. They're making a movie of what we just watched. This girl they thought that was funny. in the middle of the city in rush hour, and you think it needs more sex? Don't you trust me? Wow. Wait a minute. So th is that just is it that was that was just a farce you know that the movie didn't actually happen? This is what they're just hashing it out. Yes. Look, this is very passionate. Why don't you just save it for in front of the camera? All right. Wow. Okay. Wow. This is your ending. This is your M Night Shyamalan moment for Howling Free the Marsupials. Those are people that work on the movie. Like, don't put me in it, and let's end the movie with that footage from the beginning of the movie again. <laughs> Then, what I the fuck is going on, Josh? <laughs> I don't know. Those photos, for some reason, I just started Good. thinking that they were going to start That's showing the thing. photos of the hangover, Did like the lost camera. What? Are these people in a cult? They're all uniformed. They're wearing the same no. things. Did you no, see that? Never did. I... Well, that uh, will be all for today. Is he a cult leader? Today's lecture topic will be the future of Darwinism. Thank you all. What? And he's showing the same damn tape. See, they're all, yeah, and they're all, it's a cult, right? Or is it prison? Are they prisoners? They're all wearing the same thing, right? Am I seeing things? How come we're not wearing those shirts? We're also prisoners. What the hell, dude? Why are they all wearing the same shirt? That's bugging me more than any of this other shit. Your face is, very is he going to kiss him? Do I know you? Have we met before? A long time ago. Is that the baby? Is that the yes, baby? Because he's older. That's the baby. Yep. I'm the son of Jerbo and Donnie. Huh? That's Ned Flanders. Heidi ho, neighborino. Huh? Oh my. As you were, boys. <laughs> I can't believe. Jaboa and Jeff. <laughs> okay, you don't need to give us the flashes. We know. So he's the bait, the ugly ass little baby. So yep. Questions to ask you. I don't know where to start. We got questions too, and we don't know They're where to start. Yeah, get Jaboa on the phone now. Okay, you need to open your mouth when you talk, buddy. Oh, so I'm going to open and crush, and now we're going to be at your end crush. Good movie. The actress. Yeah, and Dad's a big director. You didn't notice that the actress was the woman? <laughs> they told me to contact you. I'd like to see them. You can start by watching. So you infiltrated my cult, I see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just to end the movie. We don't care about these characters and that they had a future together. Are they fucking? Are they a thing now? Because that's weird. This is incredible. Like, the scariest part of this film is the fact that their living room is entirely white. You couldn't eat anything in that place. Too bad they're not watching the... Oh, it's a Ben Trucks. What was the name of the company that made this movie? Distinguished guest, it's a very great honor for me to be... Academy there. of Laser Arts. Very great honor. It's lovely to be here, too. Wherever hey, Josh, Will there. Smith is, uh, shows up all and slaps the living shit out of this lady. <laughs> 
They're actually just watching that footage from the beginning of the movie again. I need a pair of those fucking glasses. I'm telling you, dude. I would wear those. She's making me beg her to put Will Smith's wife in her mouth, like in her name in her mouth. That looks just like an Oscar. How did they not get in trouble for this? Probably because nobody actually saw the goddamn film. Okay, she's... Well, I was so concerned about if she was going to become a famous actress one day or not. Have a happy ending. So, I'm so happy that she's going to be fine. It's going to be okay, Alex. She made it. Is the song singing, this is Vestron, this is the Vestron Entertainment, this is Vestron. The Vestron Academy Awards. Oh my god, the nuns. I forgot all about the nuns, didn't you? I sure did, and they they have cable in their cave. This is a very hard film they sure do. We have cave. We have like something like that in our dungeons. They have cable. Cable. I love it. Okay, yeah, you, you nailed it. You killed me with that one. Wait, so it's not her? Oh yeah, they're like, oh yeah, she's a werewolf. She's never been in front of a flashing camera her entire movie career, apparently. That's actually footage of the actors seeing the finished product of the movie. This is basically what happened to Will Smith. He finally won the Academy Award and he turned into a lichen. Oh my god, all those shots right here are going into the sitcom thing. What is, is everybody just admitting the movie sucks so let's just get, make everybody think they're on acid at the end? What? <laughs> You guys thought it was a happy ending. It's actually a, a really bad ending, a, a sad ending. That's what you, this movie is. What you get? That's what they're laughing. That's what you get for killing the Tasmanian devils. <laughs> Wait a minute. That guy just cut the film, so he's the one who made the movie. Yes. The person at the top of the cast list was some Tiberian peasant. What? This is the worst film. We've yeah. ever seen on Slash Tracks. I wanna I wanna give a big thank you to Michael Clark for picking this because he he did what Master Evil could not do. He broke Josh. He did, he did. It was hilarious and we had a blast with you here. But in the story, we hope you tell us our fate in a minute. Oh, catch one, two, three. Did the production that was the production assistant. Catch one, two, three is actually the training company that trained him how to catch a woman randomly in the park. Yeah, he's like, just run as fast as you can. I want you to get really good at stairs. You know why the graph? You know why the credits were going so fast? All the people they put in there were like, yeah, just make it. Don't show us that long. Speed it up. Speed it up. They couldn't afford to actually have normal speed credits. <laughs> they didn't. They didn't want their names on there as long as you know, no longer the, than they had to. The credits are going so fast. It's like when you're watching a movie on TV and they edit it to to, to, to fit into the next time slot. Next by color film. I don't think I'd admit that. Titus. Yes. In selected theaters. Alex, that's not right, right? But this actually had a theatrical release in some movie theaters. All fall down watching this. Die for love of God for having to watch it. You gotta to catch you now? I don't know. I don't know. Soundtrack available on the film tracks label worldwide. We need to get a copy of that. Dude, I want to get it signed by whoever sings in this awesome song. But well, we did our best, Ron. Adios, amigos. Adios, amigos. The... Yeah. Go back to the t- the vault. Let's absolutely please. pretty bad movie wasn't it yeah that was uh that was probably one of the worst um wow so what's our fate yeah i guess y'all have been through enough y'all can go free now thank you thank you yes awesome. jackpot baby say it one more time yeah y'all can go now y'all been here long enough all right Let's get out of here.
<laughs> Actually, no. You gotta stay. What? Just like that? Our door was just open. God. What? Well, so as you you saw how bad that was, and you're gonna just Miguel take it. Oh my God! Just. This has been a waste of time. Go, Miguel, go. What up, Josh? What up, Alex Slash Track? What's going on? I'm busting in the damn head. So you guys shut up.